Hello everybody. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to to one guy. Uh, his name is Jesus Christ. He is the only reason why I'm here today. Uh, without him, without his help, without um, his might, I wouldn't be here. You know. Um, I want to share with you a story how I met Jesus Christ in my life, how it happened and why it happened. I will start with the beginning. Um, I was born in quite fine family. I was born in Poland. I was, um, I was raised in Poland. I was going to school here. Uh, the most of my life I lived in this country, in Poland. Um, God is amazing, really. Um, why I was looking for God? This is what I want to tell you. This, this is the first thing I want to share with you. Why I was looking for God? Because I was never looking for Him before. I knew that He exists. I knew that He exists. I've seen some spiritual evidence of uh, His of His presence some things that prove that he really exists but I, I, I never followed him like I, I never seek for him because he for me I, I thought that God is boring because I was raised in the Catholic religion and this religion presents God in really like in, 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 a, in a bad he, the bad image you know he, he's not interesting you don't want to know this person especially when you are a young a young person yeah because he is just boring, you know, there is nothing, nothing interesting in this. So I was living my life <clears throat> um, when I was, uh, when I got older and older, I, I started to sin more and more. Um, when I was five years old, I started to be addicted to video games. And you can believe it, either or not, I don't care, it's true. It was um, influenced by the bad spirit, this whole uh, addiction to the video games. I had a situation once when I was uh, kneeling um, in front of my TV screen because I was checking some video games, some discs. I was putting some discs into the console. It was called Amiga console. And um, I, I have uh, inserted one of the discs into this console and I was kneeling in front of TV and I, uh, <clears throat> the, 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 the TV showed the black screen and the, and the red mark in the middle of this um, black screen. Uh, I remember uh, this sign as a pentagram, I might say, or, or some other occult sign that is, uh, that is, that is used to, 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 to some occult uh, craft. And I felt this temptation to look at it, but uh, in the same moment, I, I I had this thought in my mind that if I will be keep looking into this, into this sign, something bad will happen with me. Uh, but I kept looking uh, at this sign, and I felt like suddenly something uh, jumped inside of me, something I couldn't see. And the first thought I had in my mind is to just forget <laughs> as soon as possible this uh this uh what happened and um i was quite afraid you know and uh i believe that this this spirit he influenced um he he he, he had a big impact on my life and since that moment i started to be addicted to video games i remember uh, i wanted to stop to play but i couldn't you know, I wanted to stop, but I couldn't, and it was very, uh, it was very bad, you know, because you don't want to do something, but you have to do it. Um, <clears throat> and my life looked, um, I was quite a soft person. I, I, I remember that I, I used to love people, you know. Uh, further in my life, I, I started to hate them, because... Uh, they hurt me, I started to hurt them. Uh, now it's different. Now it's totally different because now I am. Um, 
now I have love inside of me, the, the, the love that you cannot describe by words. And um, this love comes from heaven, you know, this love is from God. This is the kind of love you really want to have, but many of people, they don't know that um, this is what they want. They look for this, 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 um, this vibe, I might say, this feeling uh, in many things in this world, you know. Uh, they do drugs, they, 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 they have a lot of sexual partners, they, um, they have some hobbies, uh, they look for adrenaline, um, you can, you can, you can, you can, uh, you can, uh, search for this in many, many, many things, you know, around you, but you will never find this except the Christ, because, uh, uh people are made on, on God's image, and you can't change it, you can claim you know, you can uh, say that people come from a uh, ape, from monkey. I like bananas, you know, but I don't. Uh, my my grand grand grandfather wasn't a chimpanzee or whatever it's called. You know, I don't care. Um, why I also want to share with you this um, because it helped me. You know, when I was uh, 21, I think I believe I was 21 years old. I was addicted already to smoking pot, marijuana. I was addicted to drinking alcohol. I was just addicted to be high because I couldn't stand to, 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 to live sober life. Because um, throughout uh, my life, I got hurt many times by people and these wounds. They made me to just just look look for some relief you know and i uh, i found it in in, in in smoking weed and in drinking alcohol you know i uh, was like i was 18 years old i started to hang out with people who like introduced me to 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 to, to smoking weed i remember when i smoked it for the first time i felt really good because i felt really peaceful <laughs> um and something uh, clicked in my mind when I smoked the weed for the first time, mm, that there is something more in this life, there is something way more than only what I can see. And I uh, remind myself like the old times when I was a little kid, I was uh, a healthy, I had a healthy mind, you know. Um, actually, I had, I had really like no wounds, I can say. Um, and I, I, I just started to smoke, but I knew since then, I, I knew that there is something more, you know. And I started to smoke. I was, uh, I've been smoking for um, four years, I, 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 could, I can say four years, I've been smoking four years. And also drinking, uh, partying, hanging out with people, starting, I, I started to go to clubs. Um... I always wanted to pick up some nice, beautiful girls, um, but I remember I was always shy, you know. It's also a very interesting situation because when I was um, a member of kindergarten, <laughs> I was um, three, four, five years old, six years old, um, I got rejected from, from girl for the first time when I was really small, but it also affected me in a bad way, you know. I uh, started to see girls as uh, like a dangerous persons, you know, people, and uh, I got angry at them, you know, because I was I, I connected them with hurt, you know. Um, many things, you know. Many things. I I did some things I was ashamed of. Uh, Satan was uh, holding me with 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 shame. Because I did some stuff, you know. I was uh, ten years old. I had a friend. I met a guy, you know, um, in the states. Because I, I I lived in the states for six months during uh, that time I, when I was ten, and we started to uh, like like tease with our uh, 
you know, uh, it, it was like a homosexual sin, you know. I, did, I didn't want to do it, but the temptation was quite strong, and I just uh, let it go, you know. And, uh, we did some, uh, not nothing like intercourse, but some uh, peating or something like that. And um, I felt after this, I, I just felt humiliated. I wanted to hide this really deep inside of myself, you know. And uh, it also affected <clears throat> my future life. Uh, I remember I was um, I was a good student, but um, I was always like a, a guy. I couldn't stand. I couldn't like sit still, you know, during the the lessons time. I always uh, liked to to laugh, to joke. Everybody laughed at my jokes, you know, during the lesson during, during the lessons. Um, <clears throat> But the system, I didn't like it because they tried to just drag me down, just be like everybody else, you know. This is the world, this is how it, how it, how it uh, uh, goes, you know. Uh, Satan is the prince of, of this world and he wants you to be just flat. He, he, he doesn't want you to be free. And Christ came to give me a freedom and to everybody else. But I didn't know about this at that time. We had some uh, religion lessons, um, but no wisdom, you know, was um, was given to us. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, now I know many, 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 many things, and I use it. Um, but it happened after I uh, I uh, got I got born again, uh, and it happened when I was 22 and a half years old, I believe. Yes. In that time, <clears throat> I was uh, smoking weed, I was smoking cigarettes, I was drinking alcohol also, very oftenly. I was uh, addicted to watching pornography, uh, also to masturbate. Um, I could do it like three, four times a day, even sometimes, you know. Uh, also, I couldn't find any girl um, because of these wounds inside of myself. I felt like I'm blocked, and I and I and I got frustrated because I didn't know what to do with this. Um, and um, it was a night time, around two three a.m., and I came back to my house, to my home. I entered my room, and I uh, have already known that I can uh, that God can help me. I saw on um, some YouTube. I saw some testimony of I don't remember who exactly, but this guy it was, it was some 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 man, and he said that uh, somebody told him he was addicted to smoking weed. He was a Rastafari person, and uh, and and he had also some uh, some demonic visions. He was a demonized person. You know, he suffered depression. And some, someone, some girl told him that Jesus Christ died for your sins on the cross with a smile on her face. And he was like quite shocked because how can you talk about such a tragedy with a smile on your face? But he believed in this fact that uh, Jesus died on the cross. And everything evil came to an end in his life when he gave his life to Jesus Christ. So I came uh, into my room, I, I entered my room, and I, uh, I kneeled on my bed, I, I uh, rose my hands to God, and I said, God, I'm giving you my life because I don't know how, how to live anymore. And it was honest, it was, it was straight out of my heart, you know, these words, they came out of my heart. And I felt like I'm dying, you know, I'm kneeling on this bed, but I feel like I'm dying. Like colors, they went away, but it was a very peaceful, a peaceful, uh, peaceful moment. I didn't feel any uh, fear or something. Uh, it was very short, but I know that something, something is coming to, to an end. Um, and I just uh, laid down on the bed, and I felt like the the the, the life is coming into my body from 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 outside. Like this area, I can say, 
it was it was my uh, <clears throat> my thing. Uh, anybody can you know experience this differently. And I fell asleep, and I woke up. And I can tell you that when I woke up, everything was different. I started to see in a different way. First of all, I felt really good, you know. I felt like I'm accepted. I, I, just, I just felt it, you know. I felt like I don't have to do anything more, you know. I, I, I tried to do many, many things before uh, to be accepted by friends, by anybody. I wasn't myself, I was, wear, I was wearing a lot of masks. Um, but now I know I don't have to do it and I can't do anything uh, to be loved more, you know, because now God loves me. Before he, he was just waiting, you know, for me to invite him to my life. Before I was, he was a threat to me. I didn't know it, but uh, he was a dangerous person because I wasn't united with him. And now when I'm united with Christ, you know, we are together as one. And I wish you this, you know, also to just accept, invite Christ to your life. Uh, because this is what, uh, this is the meaning of life. Before I, 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 I um, invited Christ to my life, I was, I was searching for this happiness and this peace in, uh, in smoking weed, in drinking alcohol, in relationships, also in some kind of uh, mind techniques, uh, so-called the power of present moment. Um, it worked for some time, but um, it wasn't this, uh, it, it didn't give me what I was expecting, you know, to, 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 to receive. And when I met Christ, everything, you know, changed. And now I live with, uh, with God, you know. Uh, I don't smoke weed. I don't have to. I can lay down on 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 you know on on the on the mat on the mattress made of weed, and I will I I will feel no temptation to smoke it. Before I couldn't resist. I I, I had to do it. You know. I just had to do it. Uh, it was stronger than me. I think this is it. You know. I was thinking what what I can tell you. I could tell you many things, you know, everybody uh, have some stories, you know, uh, to share. But the most important is just to meet Christ, you know, again. Because uh, before you came down on the earth, you, uh, you were in the presence of God in heaven, you know. So it's all about to, 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 to come back, you know, to God. And you can only do it by the cross of Jesus Christ. Because he died, it didn't happen like that, you know, he had to go to the cross. Jesus came to the earth and he had to die for our sins. And uh, he suffered a terrible pain for us. It's called a grace. You don't have to do anything and you are saved. Just invite Christ to your life. Yeah, just do it, you know. Your life will be changed, I guarantee you. And you will receive the, the peace of mind. You, you, no weed will give you this. No, no party, no girl, nobody. No friends, no, nobody, no. Hallelujah, you know. Father, I, I just pray, so who... Um, who shall listen? This he will he will listen, and I just pray for open hearts, you know, and open minds. Amen. Hallelujah.